Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening for some of you. Welcome to your daily message or daily messages. April 1st, loves. Let's hear what this day brings to us. Thursday, Jupiter Day. And what are those messages are come in here at this time? As you know, whatever in the world you are, I will ask all of you to in tune with these energies and get into this energy as I am getting into as well and see. As you always know, these messages are coming through right now, right here. And whatever situation is here, for some of you could happen, for others of you will happen, for other of you is going on right now, as you know, as well, that we are all in different timelines. And let's not be judging, loves, because sometimes even the dailies, not affiliated with any zodiac sign, but my highly resonate with you. Don't dwell too much into the zodiac signs, even I will mention them. The reason is those zodiac signs, you might have them in the chart or the person or the people you are dealing right now. Let's see, loves. I will use today the gilded Reverie Lenormand and the deck of Rider White. Let's see, loves. What do we have here for the April? First. And how many, many of you will start the month? Let's see here. Cutting the deck. The message is here. All right. Who I'm talking right now is leaving or left a connection behind. There's no coming back. And if you are in search of love, the love is coming. But it's coming here as you move forward somewhere else. You could move energetically, you could move physically. For others of you, it is a job situation here. Who either you got fired, either you got like, I don't want it anymore. This is not serving me anymore. And now you are in search of something else. I see you very optimistic, loves, and I do see positive results in your search, even greater results than you could ever expect. But whatever is here is like you, you packed your luggage, you left the building. Indeed, here there's something here you left for good. And I see you like, I am optimistic. And I'm very glad to hear this energy of optimist energy that whatever it's coming, it's better. For those of you who are thinking of your financial situation, the fish very much speaks about money, fruition, abundance, and the lilies too. The Kala lilies here. I believe they are Kalas. And there is somebody here past 30s. I don't see a very young person in this picture. But I see somebody who could make a lot of sacrifices in their past for something. But it's kind of like now there is movement. And there is a lot of movement. For some of you, you have the letter K. You know, Kyle, K, 
Kendall Campbell name but I see here there is indeed a good opportunity of new beginnings and I see them very positive whatever move you take now whatever you plan now I do see them fruitful but let's see loves what the tarot, what the spirit is here for and what insights gives you at this time. All right, loves. An overarching energy for the day. Page of Pentacles. You know, even the page is a small energy. Page of Pentacles is one of the promising ones. It's something real. So, the news are here. Eight of Cups. Going forward. There is no left something behind. Star. Aquarius energy here. Very much speaks about hope. Healing. And very much in that energy like... I will get the things I deserve and want. Again, there is a lot of movement here. And a lot of healing as well. But it's kind of as you go. It's like one after another one is improving. Ten of Pentacles, Tower... When we have a tower moment is the time is now. Knight of Wands. Ten of Cups. King of Cups. Chariot. Good. Full speed ahead. If somebody here is struggling... I feel here the move forward, it's one of the best choices getting here. And as we had from the oracles, there's something here over. Whatever the case is, the healing is happening. But I feel here there is a situation here when somebody thought the grass is greener on the other side. They crossed the boundaries and as well they, they there is somebody here cheated on somebody. Whatever the thing was. And it's like whatever could be a family woman, a family man. Now that person is single. Now that person is enjoying the, their single life. Or at least they do try to enjoy it. I have Sag here, Scorpio, Cancer, Virgo, Aquarius energy. But let's do this here. Could be as well a Pisces energy as well. Let's see here. Six of Swords. Nine of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Tower, Five of Wands, Five of Cups, 
two of cups and the emperor underneath yeah been a crowd in here been regrets in here been heartbreak in here and as well been love right here A betrayal energy here as well because you know it's kind of one-way street here somebody had it all and you know tried something else and came out to the light as you always know the truth is always out no matter what. But it's kind of like when you run after two, you want to catch two things. You don't catch anything. And that quite happened in here. Somebody here been caught whatever they've done or as the truth came out came with evidence or came with you know proof whatever the other person done but also what I'm seeing here somebody here felt that they love to people and one of those people left very quick after they found out that they are not belong where they need to the other one left later So indeed here, somebody here who thought everything will go their ways, this emperor, didn't got at all in a way they, they wanted or expected. Knight of Wands, speak to me here. It's like somebody here, yes, they had family, they had a lot of things. They could lost everything due to their behavior. But it's kind of this behavior. I don't see any addictions. Could be due to addictions as well. But the thing is... Curiosity. It's like somebody here... Seek love. Seek appreciation you know some people in this early life they they want that assurance you love me other people you know do things for me for some of you you might read the book the five languages of love and we all receive and give love differently and I feel here that's very, very, very much here that somebody been seeking love, been seeking assurance, been see seeking confirmation. And probably the person they've been at that time were not offering or were not, you know, validating whatever the other person seeking. And that's why this person tried to seek somewhere else. Which ended not very well or not very pleasant. Because trying to prove themselves or trying to, you know, this is how I want it. That's why I always say communication is the number one in a relationship. Another thing here 
It's not like communicate and reply, communicate and understand. Somebody here felt not understood here. The other thing here is somebody wanted family, but didn't want to feel tied to the family, feel like I need my freedom as well. But you know, sometimes when we build a relationship here with whoever we choose, because it's no such a thing, somebody choose you and you are not choosing them. And that's the thing here between stability, family, or between something stable to have and something here to, to be free. And yes, it's a lot of work to balance those things. And that's what I'm feeling here. For many, many of you, especially for those of you who, who felt the need to leave something and to seek something else, that's very, very strong. But I feel here somebody here had a lot of changes in a short time. And there is a lot of regret here. But let's see here. Page of Wands, Sun, Knight of Wands, Seven of Swords, King of Cups, Page of Swords, and Queen of Cups. It's like somebody here kept an eye on the other person here. Especially this one here, who thought the grass is greener on the other side. Whoever here left first, could be a Leo, could be a Sag, but I feel here left after a fight. But it's kind of like new life for me, healing for me, moving forward for me. On the other end here, the other person here have been looking strongly here. Should I stay in this marriage or not? but felt like I do everything by myself. Magician. I'm, it's like even I'm with this person, I feel like mostly I'm just all by myself in this connection. So, With this two of pentacles here, is like that energy, should I stay in this marriage commitment or should I let it go? But the fact here, whoever felt doing all the work, everything on their shoulders, they left the building later on. They could left after two years after they found out what's going on with that person or with their person they've been with. And there's a new beginning. Whatever the thing here is with this person here, I feel here they 
they always try the easy way or they always thought that things will go their way and didn't got very well because what I'm seeing here whatever happened here it's over it's done and why we have all the tens here ten of pentacles ten of swords ten of wands ten of cups it's like two the past into a new beginning into a new beginning it's like whatever third party whatever things here happened there is into a new thing this person here choose a new path after whatever happened this one is still quite hurt but you know sometimes you you make your own stuff one more card here for this knight of wands and seven of swords six of cups ace of pentacles and the Empress and the Emperor and the High Priestess and Knight of Pentacles it's like whatever here this person have done in the past they try to move forward and they probably try with who they've been with At least that's how they feel will work. But it's it's quite slow moving. Whatever the case is. Very, very slow movement. But it's like I changed a lot. And there's a lot of things as well changed for this person but also there's still a certain temptation with the moon here this person here tries to move forward in a single way At least that's how they feel like. Queen of Wands, Seven of Cups, and for old energy. Underneath, we do have Four of Wands. Like when it's coming around this person, or around in general life, It's like a lot of things changed. A lot of things changed for this person. And even whoever they've been married, committed, seems that A lot of things here have been unresolved. Because indeed here I feel whoever they've been committed, they it's coming around. But the thing is, I see the next nine of pentacles. It's like I'm better off myself. Whatever is the case.
the fact is what I'm seeing here I'm speaking here with three single people here single people single people and single people on the thing here this one here down there it's kind of feeling like their life is better being single not in any commitment it's like I don't want any commitment the fact this one here even they done what they've done it's like they learn a certain lesson and they know whatever they've done messed up their life they still want a commitment could be with this person could be with anybody but at this point in life they take it slow on the other hand this one here loves to enjoy the life loves to know that they whatever they're going they go with a good vibe they gone through some healing a rebirth yeah they are, could be focused on their work a lot of things changed a lot of things they reflect on but I see this person most likely into the business focusing on their coins on their money yeah yeah they they made it their choice I rather focus on my career my money my growth as a person not necessary a relationship and whatever you feel that you are resonate loves I feel here this energies we're speaking here are quite high vibrational and indeed here what we have it's a life situation and each and every one is in search what makes me happy where I stand my happiness where I stand my growth and the movement here indeed is happening I don't feel any stuck energy here I feel here there are energies that everybody is focusing on certain things. Another thing here, this person here might try go backwards to somebody, but I don't see too much growth going back yeah because I see some struggle in regards to this connection and as we had this three of swords in the beginning here in the overall energy we have three of pentacles queen of swords six of wands and five of pentacles somebody here going back have been thinking that will work or at least will move forward the things not quite so loves that's what is about here that every time you do something in this earthly life 
think closely of your steps. What's my next step? What's my next move? Because somebody here might have done things out of ego, out of, you know, their own perception. And, you know, sometimes it's take a moment to lose everything. Because we make our own choices. We build our own life here. And sometimes we follow a path and at the beginning feels wow and great. But later on we gotta think. So that's why I always point that before you do something in your life or before you do something to somebody, think. If I do this thing, how I feel, how I will manage it. Because that's a big thing later on. And also, who you offer, whatever you have to offer, make sure they are worth it. Or they are there for you. Because sometimes, being in the moment, or being for a moment with whoever might be a huge impact for later. But I feel here whatever, whoever done, whatever they done, now they take it slow. They are not how they used to be clingy, fast moving, try to experience things. Like now it's just more like calculated energy here. Because it's kind of like don't do to others what you don't want to be done to you. And yeah, lesson learned. For some of you, you might feel like, are these people here hate me or are angry of me? Or whatever it is here, because indeed here, who try this or experience these things. I feel here whoever done things, whatever things they've been, they feel like everybody been hating me. No. I don't see the hate here. I don't see the anger hate here. What I've been seeing here, I've been seeing hurt. And it's most likely whatever you tried hurt yourself. And again, the energy is that energy that don't do bad to others it's coming to you in a different way sometimes in a way you never expecting it and i feel here that happened here so yes loves 
whatever and whoever I'm talking right now. There is somebody here who has a good heart. It's like even I've done what I've done and now I'm talking with this person in the middle here. It's like even I've done things what I've done. I learn it. And now I'll take my time to move forward from whatever was. And yeah, to learn from what I had. And what I need to have right now. It's like I've done it with my own hands. So yes, loves, the strongest energy is the middle one. This energy is at least the latest, not too much. It's like this person detached like they mind their business this person has been for quite a while into this around this person's energy and now is detaching as well because I feel here this one could struggle for quite a while but now I don't see them struggling Okay, so yes, loves, whatever you feel and whatever position you are, I feel here we all come in our lives or in the other's lives for a reason. And the thing here, this person came, you know, innocently in this person's life here but didn't last too much. And neither got stuck, but came in this person's life for a lesson, to show them a lesson. And yes, lesson is learned. And now we gotta leave with that. And move on. So that's love, what I have for you. Whatever resonates, whatever speaks to you, let me know in the comments below. Happy April 1st. And many blessings. See you next time. Namaste.